All right, all right, all right. No more messing around. It's time to take this investigation seriously. That's right. I won't do any ranting or pontification for now. Oh, hey, is that Stargow Geiger? Stargow Geiger, really? Well, I guess we're the bittersweet gamers. I'm Wee Squared and, uh, Damon. Damon? And I'm the opinionator. Well, let's just get on with talking to Ibuki. I see, I see. Apparently, a great man once said, investigations should be done on foot as opposed to like helicopter or something. Yes. So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Hey, that wasn't Star Gal Geiger. That was just gold lighting. I don't know what that is. You know, Billy, I'm starting to think you were trying to pull the wall over my eyes. I've been a bad boy. Did you just make a sheet joke? Don't make fun of me. I wouldn't make fun of you. <laughs> well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. What's that? Could she, by any chance, on account of her hearing, know what happened during the blackout? What? You mean the point that was driven home to us by you could be relevant here? I think that's what I'm very quietly trying to get at, yes. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing as with everyone else. Are you serious? Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> you brag about it? So you did <laughs> hear us! Even though Hajime and I were wink, wink, nudge, nudge, talking pretty softly just now. Oh, I can hear everyone, including those two commentators. Well, I can hear them too, but... <laughs> Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. It's these metal rings that help channel uh, radio frequency. I was wondering if they were lightning rods or something. <laughs> I see. Uh, she also has a perfect ego. Well, well, you know, they're all ultimate, so if your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. You know, you're right. You would think that all of these ultimates would have a stronger ego and- Oh my god, I'm pontificating! <laughs> when the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? All we heard were question marks <laughs> as the commentators tried to make out who the voice actors were, but we haven't heard enough of the voices to, I am so meta right now. <laughs> we couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Pardon me, I'm going to throw up now. Fried rice with gravy? Like what kind of gravy are we talking about? Oh. <laughs> La li la la! I'll hardly eat it for breakfast. Like country gravy? Uh, I'm just speculating here. Uh, <laughs> David the food buff has been offended. Or like brown gravy, or even a not not like country style, but like white gravy. Or I mean, maybe like curry. And I can't. Well, I mean, the curry would be great. Curry for breakfast is awesome. It's just. That's just gross. <laughs> like, it's it's like really, I was going to say heavy, but then I actually read Nagito's line, so. <laughs> oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie, except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy and <laughs> vomit-inducing. Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. You are do not have a perfect palate, let me tell you what. <laughs> She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. In the end, the point of a metaphor is honestly to, to, to make it easily understandable. Why are we the more complicated... this? I'm sorry, my, my bad. <laughs> anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it! Leave it to me! I'm gonna take a bite out of you! What? Uh... And that, what's up with that face of hers? <laughs> oh, if you tell us, I'll let you bite Hajime later. Nagito, <laughs> stop it. What if she takes you seriously? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. You can totally do it later as long as you tell us. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... So is that like a dog or a cat? Well, you know, sort of showing affection through biting? Kind of? It's more complicated than maybe, that. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the reason her taste buds are so weird is because of how strong her ears are. Like, the tongue has to compensate. 
are you connecting a sense of hearing and a sense of taste? Well, you know, it's like one sense is so strong that it weakens the others. I like some sort of sensory vampire. That's right! It was Mahiru! That's right! It was Mahiru! <laughs> it's a blackout! I thought Byakuya said something first. Uh, I think he said it before the blackout. Hmm. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. I mean, I'm a shock after all. It's not like I can't just sense your electromagnetic waves or Kazuichi? something. Kazuichi? Uh, yeah, yeah? Don't pontificate or elaborate in a flashback. Aw, I never get to pontificate or nothing. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Oh, well, no, your present is pitch black. <laughs> what a nice remark I made. It's to the point it has its own unique charm. Uh, everything about her is unique. That is very true. Capital U. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Hmm, that seems important. What yeah. The hell? What's going on here? Okay. This, this is. Uh huh. Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know. She could probably just smell the food and. No, Akane it. aside. You guys, where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? So Hyoko said somebody stepped on her and somebody ran into Nagito and yeah. in the middle Byakuya was like, what the heck? And then he yeah. was like, like, Korewa, this is. Mm -hmm. So with the picture, in the pictures, Byakuya was on the far side of the room yeah, from he the was, table we found him at. Yeah, he was like at the sort of. Near the front? Uh, well, I was about to try and say what I, I was about to say bottom left, but then I was like, <laughs> or southwest, but then I was like, well. Who the heck knows what I'm talking about? And then I just stopped paralyzed as I tried to think about the way to describe it. In any case, the the exact opposite side of the room, the opposite yeah, corner is where yeah. the table was. But in the second picture that showed Nagito next to the AC, Hyoko was there. Was she? Yep, it was Nekomaru, then next to him was Hajime, then next to him was Hyoko, and then on the other side was Akane eating, and then Nagito was in the back. I remember Nekomaru on the left, but mm -hmm. I don't really remember the other stuff at all. And that wasn't in the same picture, was it? They were all in the same picture. I don't know about that. Maybe you're right, but we don't have the picture. Yeah, we don't have it as a truth bullet yet, so... I mean, we haven't talked to Mahiru to find out everyone's positioning, but that's what I remember from the yeah, picture. Yeah, we have. But we haven't gotten the... Yeah, we haven't that's what gotten I mean. the, we we haven't haven't, gotten the oh, results. Oh, we did talk to Mahiru, yes. We haven't gotten the results yet. And then this is Teru Teru coming I mean, we in. need to we need to see that for sure to figure out where everybody really was. Because I'm not so sure that I... That right. I, well, I think you might have put two pictures together in what you're saying. Possibly. I'm willing to admit that at this point. Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. You know what's amusing about this? If he followed the wall, it would take him forever to get to the office where the breaker, circuit breaker room is. Maybe he would just cross the hallway to get to the other side. I guess. He wouldn't be able to see them. I just wanted it's funny. <laughs> Alrighty, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. To be frank, the thing that's most impressive about all that is that you remembered verbatim what everybody said and when. Yeah, yeah. I am I am not petting her on the head. I am scared I would impale my hand on one of those horns. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. N Nagito! Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And th this is... What do you mean? About that... Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little bit more? No! I want to discuss it now! Calm down! For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care what? for some strange reason, even though I'm trying to investigate and I, get to the bottom of this. I don't think that's really what he meant. I mean, I understand what he meant, but it didn't come out. 
Yep. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Yes, I agree with you. Yeah, then yeah. praise me! Let me bite ya! Alright, get away from me! Here's Hajime! Knock yourself out! Ouch! Why are you really biting me? Oh, good me? job! <laughs> I've got her teeth marks in my arm I'm running as slow as possible. Okay, so Byakuya is on the back side of the table. Yeah, he's kind of underneath it, yeah. So that means that it's like he went around the walls or something, right? Yeah, he must have, or his body would be in a different position. If you were right about Hyoko, like her position, which I mean, you probably are, uh, if you're right about that, it's not like that was Byakuya. Yeah. But I mean, we're assuming the killer is from below. Yeah, we're assuming the killer stabbed him through the floor and, and, flats. But if Hyoko was in a different, I mean, well, somebody ran into Nagito or something. Somebody did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, Mikan fell over, but I feel. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, is, is Nagito was right in front of the table. Yes. Byakuya couldn't have run into Nagito and then run all the way to the opposite side of the table and then lay down. Yeah. So, so someone did. Hmm. That's really suspicious. I'm just, I'm just trying to, trying to get an idea of what it was that we heard. Right. Sonia, you're not going to bite me, are you? Oh, is that the popular thing to do these days? No, it isn't. No matter what Teru Teru says. Are you sure about that? He was awfully insistent. Do not listen to Teru Teru. I'll try, but it just seems as though he understands so many things that I don't. Take my word as the most common commoner. Um, there is something I want to ask you. Don't bite me. Hmm? What Haven't we it? been through this already? <laughs> um... It is strange, no? It appears that only that wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Come to think of it, I... Never even noticed this before. Oh yeah, I noticed it before, but I've seen it... I've seen it so many times that it just didn't even register. There's one on the other side. Is there? Yeah, they close together and form a barricade. Like, sh like shutters? Uh, kind of like shutters, Are yeah. you sure? It looks just like the ones that I've... I mean, we've got some at work, but they're more accordion-y. But I've seen them before. That's what I was thinking, is that they're always accordion-y. Right. Perhaps. Oh, it's probably a fire door. Or it's that. Fire door? Is that a door that's on fire? Now, now Sonia. Yeah? Does this door look like it's on fire? Hmm... My first instinct is to say no. Your first instinct... In this case, it's correct. Okay. You've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep fire from spreading by containing it. If that happens, you can run away, right? That okay. makes a lot of sense. Oh, I mean, especially in this super wooden Dongan Rompa 1 building. That's correct. Wow. Oh, I see. It is like a barrier. Just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. What? That's only done to keep cats from getting in. How does that stop cats from getting in? You do that to keep to keep cats from... Okay, so first off, why would you want to stop a cat from getting in? I mean, unless it's like feral and messing up your house or something. If it's a feral cat, it is not going to mount an assault on your house. Look, I'm just trying to come up with a plausible scenario. You look at it and it'll run away. Yeah, but, you're right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you kind of run into... Or if the cat hits a bottle like it's empty. Because, you know, you can just be like... <sighs> And, a pla and an empty bottle will fall over and then it'll make like a clattering noise and the cat will run away. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? Meanwhile, those two out there didn't know about fire doors or keeping cats from getting inside. I guess that puts Sonya a step above us, doesn't it, Damon? I am ashamed. Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Oh, that that's why you're here. I mean, not here, here, but that's why you're at the school. And this is important, somehow. Okay, okay, where is this in relation to everything else? Okay, here's the main room. There is the kitchen. It is that's between the kitchen? the kitchen and the main Yeah, because the office room. the office is to the left. Yep, yep, and then there's the, and the back. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, oh, just that if a fire breaks out, fire door can be shut. Well, I have no idea what this is about, but it might be relevant to something. I mean, presumably it is, because we have it as a truth bullet. Now let's see what's going on in... I hit the wrong button. What's going on with my controller? What's going on in the menu? <laughs> Suspicious menu. 
All right. Are you going to look at everything in here no, again? No, no. I was seeing if there is maybe something else. Hey, since we've come all this way, let's investigate this area again, just for the heck of it. There's a chance there might be some sort of clue here. Well, I can't help it if Nagito wants me to. You know <sighs> what I'm saying? Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Teru Teru? It sounds like he was. That's what he said. <laughs> that blackout totally startled me. At first, I thought it was just in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then, I heard everyone's voices, so I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way to the dining hall, and I accidentally groped someone. <laughs> Who the hell was that? But that pit, that pitch was placed black too. But that place was pitch black too. It was like pitch black everywhere. Tanner, Tanner, that was just a person in your mind. You, you was just a mind person that you <laughs> groped. Oh, he groped. Couldn't you have used that uh, kitchen stove as a light? You can't carry no, the no, no, stove no, no, out no, the no. hall. Ah, that's impossible. This gas stove needs electricity to work. So it was directly affected by the blackout. I see, and I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use it as a light source or something, but I guess it's not that easy. Maybe he just didn't even think of it at the time, for instance. I mean, obviously not, but it's like there's plenty of reasons why that wouldn't work. Even if he what, did... What, so his account is that it was uh, that it was dark everywhere? Yes. Or, that... his, or that it had something to do with the gas stove. Okay. How is it a gas stove that's powered by electricity? I, I mean... If yeah, a, don't you just turn the valve on to let the gas out? I Admittedly, mean, we have an electric stove. It's been forever since, like, you're supposed to have a pilot light lit. Yeah. And then you just adjust the no, gas. I, I mean, I've seen plenty of places, places that have gas stoves. Like, look, we live in gas country, uh -huh. so we might not actually understand this type of concept. Look, you can go to a gas station in the, in the town where we live, mm -hmm. and you can fill up your natural gas-powered vehicle. This is really common and mm -hmm. it's really common to have like totally gas powered things. So that just looks weird to us. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, you heard the man. Look at the manga meat. Chinese, Japanese, French and Italian cuisine, fish dishes, and a big piece of meat on the bone too. Man, that looks good. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? That meat is so big. Even I was shocked. Well, that was the grossest thing it. I've ever heard! <laughs> it's a dish fit for a tropical island. I'd never be able to get meat like this in Aoyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown. What? what? Much less Aoyama what? or Azabu. What the What hell? the heck? Hit the transcript! Hold on a second. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Whoops! Uh-huh. Moving on. I get it. You don't have oh, to repeat oh, oh, yourself. Oh, okay, okay. But it's so big. I know. Ah, God! Where did you get it? Weren't you paying attention to me the other day? You don't <laughs> talk about manga meat! <laughs> I asked Nekomaru. Apparently, he killed the cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. That's not manga meat! Oh. <laughs> his bare hands? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe, but it doesn't seem completely impossible either. Where's the rest of the cow? No, really, Tedu Tedu, where's the rest of the cow? What do you think Akane's been eating? Okay, I just wanted to make sure that he didn't, like, cut some big shank out of its leg or <laughs> butt or so. Well, there's not a bone like that in the... I just wanted to make sure there wasn't a cow carcass laying somewhere. Those hands of his, they do look like they specialize <laughs> in punching things or firing lightning bolts. Punching while repeatedly while yelling out, Oda, 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 maybe, you know. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands, or any hands, or bitten, or stabbed, or being in the same room with Teru Teru for any longer than a couple minutes. Jeez, man, you're such a wimp! Seriously, Nekomaru's so wild, he's totally right at home in a country setting. I'm so jealous. My hometown is near Aoyama and Azabu, so wild country things like that, they slip my mind a knot, a knot, a knot, a lot, you know? No, I really don't know what you're talking about. Well, I guess this meat's gone to waste since this awfulness happened right when the party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Peko, who took some portions for herself. Eh? 
Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them. To tell you the truth. Well, it's not like I actually believe it, but if there really is a killer and out denied there... Denied at the very end. Ah, I'll probably never be able to forgive that killer! I'll cook him up, and not in an innuendo way either. Oh, God! He's scary when he's mad. Yakio must have confiscated all of the dangerous items on the kitchen's equipment list. I mean, we have the knife, and then there's that missing skewer. Yeah, that knife wasn't reported missing. Well, Byakuya probably confiscated it and used it himself. Yeah. Well, okay, because we were thinking that Byakuya had gone down there to get the knife he put there. Yeah. That's what we were thinking, and so him, con him confiscating that knife and using it would be consistent with that. Well, just from reading through this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakuya's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past Byakuya's body? By being check? Byakuya. By, by being Byakuya. That's weird. Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go easy on the girls when he was performing the pat-downs. I know. So said Hyoko. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hit it somewhere. If that's the case, then it's Nagito. Hey. Yeah. Still, it's surprising how much equipment this kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing, even a portable stove for... Haven't we said this stuff before? I believe it has. But this is all stuff that doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I agree. Doesn't mention the skewer, huh? Yeah. But Byakuya made a big deal out of that skewer he before. He did. I wonder if there's just a bunch of dud truth bullets. I kind of would like it if there were. Yeah. I guess I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Let's see if Nagito will let me check the storage You're right. room. Yeah, you bet. I don't believe you. Hmm. How come Byakuya was able to say something like that in the darkness? Like, what the hell? What's going on here? Or, this is... I'd say something about it, but, I mean, last time, these guys pretty much covered the whole thing. Yeah. It makes me wonder... Are you going to let me in the storage room? I mean, that's how... Good. We, I mean, that's how we determined that it wasn't a struggle. Byakuya went there to get the knife of his own volition. Right. Because otherwise there would have been a struggle because you couldn't move him. But we yeah, can't yeah. Do. This storage room is really dusty and dark. I still want to know what those pink things are. <laughs> My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. I mean, it doesn't really need it, right? It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Why not? Are you afraid of dirt? I'm afraid of spiders. Oh, you're afraid of spiders. Hmm? Are these irons? Looks like they were recently turned on. But why are there three irons on this ironing board? That is kind of odd. Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. Are you talking to Hajime or me? When I was looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I also found these irons. But when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Okay, what? Turned on? Bleh. Huh. Oh, they were turned on to help facilitate yeah. the breaker. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. But doesn't this feel kind of sinister? That's like really every possible, fishy. Every possible thing that's running was running to make the breakout or the the blackout happen. Yeah, to, to hit the breaker. Sinister. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here, possibly a tablecloth. If you look what? at the cloth, you better make sure to look at the whole cloth. <laughs> see if there's something that says Biolab or something on it. All right. Oh, is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Does the tablecloth say Biolab? Wait, huh? The Biolab... It Hold was, on, there's something on it. Okay, It never, does say Biolab. Never mind, I'll, I'll stop. Is this a blood stain? What the hell? Huh? A blood stain? Come here, take a closer look. What's this doing here? What? Uh, it's too dark. I, I can't really see that clearly. Do you have, like, glowing night vision eyes? <laughs> I am a robot. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a blood stain. Beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? I, if that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a distinct possibility, yes. Seriously, it is a blood stain. 
Hmm. When could they have changed the tablecloth and the other one has a splatter on it? I don't know. And Nagito doesn't know about it, which is also suspicious because, well, he didn't clean this room, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. Okay, okay, okay. If you were underneath the building. That, you could use that to prevent yourself from getting all bloody when you stab it. Yeah, when you sta use the skewer or whatever, presumably the skewer, the to stab up skewer. through the slat. Mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. If you have the tablecloth on you, you can, you can also prevent the blood from hitting the ground so there's no blood stain left and it's not on you. So that's yeah. the best thing I can come up with. So I wonder if there's some connection to this room and underground, like under the floor. Maybe. I guess there's nothing strange here. Well, nobody came out the front. Well, I mean, nobody came out the front then. Yeah. There's an awful lot of boxes. <laughs> uh, we don't have time to go through each and every one of them, and I'm afraid of those pink ball things up there, too. <laughs> I guess I should leave them alone, then. Yep. A wise decision. I don't trust Hajime. it when you say it. Hey, Hajime, how much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. I, I can't see anything in here, and I think everything in here is really weird. I mean, isn't... And I mean, I was acting kind of wishy-washy before, and I, I really want you to get out of this room. But why do you think I'm suspicious? Let's move on and investigate uh, other places already. Yes, friend designation Nagito Komaeda. I will do as you recommend, for you are trustworthy. Uh... Hmm? Huh? Hajime, what the hell was that? Oh, I get it. Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay. All right. All that's left is the office. Stay back. Nyan, I'll, nyan, nyan, me. Nyan. Yeah. I'll try the bathroom just for completion at sake. Yeah, we know we can't get in there. Ah, it's locked. Yes. Mm -hmm. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. And no one's had the wherewithal. Oh, it's probably Nekomaru, actually. What about knocking on the door and saying... Pardon me! A murder has happened! Who are you? I mean, I was gonna say something different, a little more polite, but yes, basically that. Hey! Thank hey. you! Very good! Hey! Is somebody in the bathroom? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's nobody in the bathroom! There's no response. This is going nowhere. Maybe they're just really embarrassed. <laughs> I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Even though we really, really need to get in there. I mean, if nothing else for Nekromaru's sake. Why does everybody not want us to go into the bathroom? Yeah, I don't understand either. Hajime. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. Oh, yeah? Wow. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. What's then. that? Check out the circuit breaker last? You got it, buddy. So I'm going to talk to you, even though we hey. just talked. There might be more clues at this place, too. Let let's try to investigate carefully, but make sure to check the circuit breaker. And now the case is here. Well, because it, it, it was before. Pecco. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm really interested in that, but let's deal with, with him first. Maybe... Hey, uh, is it Pecco the Killer? She's a really big suspect! Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Biakia after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. Uh-huh. Uh I shouldn't say this too loudly, or Elf Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm... Pekko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. We had wondered if that were the case on account of her having a case I... and something long yeah, to hit the breaker yeah, with. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be saying this in the same room as her. Hey. Are, are you saying something over there, Kazuichi? You nope, wanna... nothing at all. Are you sure? I'm positive. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? I, I feel like, just like, say, Yasuhiro, you were somebody who was very prone to jump to conclusions. Well, it's not like you look any better. How does he look like... He looks like a banana shark, sure, but how does he look like an assassin? <laughs> okay, 
Hey! No! You, how does he look like an assassin? I don't know. Maybe these sharp teeth and evil looking eyes? Fair point. This remote control is for the office's air conditioner. Hmm? The timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. We've been through this. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? It's almost like someone started everything at the exact same time to cause a circuit breaker switch. It can't be a coincidence. Right, Nagito? What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't have access to all this. <laughs> uh-huh. So, Miss Pekoyama. <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Well, you're really sharp. Huh? Yeah, it's funny you should put it that way. Ah, you're right! However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Byakuya was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Except we have found that there are a lot of electronics turned on at the same time, which means they didn't need the circuit breaker to cause the blackout. That is So true. that's going to be what proves her innocence. That is possible. Because she wouldn't need to do that. She could just flip the circuit breaker. But she also wasn't in the office. She's got to explain her whereabouts. Oh, I understand. I understand she looks suspicious. But it's just all this we, other evidence. Yeah. No, I, it's not that I'm doubting that, but we need to hear her yeah. dang alibi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. I we, mean, you can't exactly doubt it because I was in here. We were also here. Yeah, and yeah. we're like, why is Pecco not here? But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Duralumin case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, well, th that is. Uh, uh, Peko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning. I, on the I, I have to shit. <gasps> Miss Peko Yama. Hey, what happened? No, I am just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Uh, excuse me? What was that? Hey, Pecco, it appears the bathroom inside <laughs> this old building is currently occupied, so... I do remember saying that Pecco might have been in the bathroom when we were looking. You're right, but how would she get in? Okay, so if it really has been a succession of people in the bathroom, <laughs> then we can figure out who it is right now. That's true. Let's do it. Okay, right now, then, we have, we've narrowed it down. It, it's Nekomaru in the bathroom. So Thank I guess, God. I guess there really is somebody in the bathroom. So I guess it was... What? Well, I don't think just answer, for goodness sake. So it was Peko before and, Neko, and Nekomaru now. You just don't understand how important a man's shitting is. I just want to know why you have to keep it so private after you've been shrieking about it for a while, but... Uh, I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? <laughs> it seems like it will be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pecco wobbled out of the office. You know what I learned when I was a small child? Yeah. Go before you have to do something. <laughs> Is this so hard? <laughs> What happened to her? Hajime, what I'm going to tell you may come as a surprise since you are a teenager. Yeah? Girls do poop. <gasps> no. <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pecco as it is. Huh? What does that mean? I'm just so oblivious. I mean, is it cool she didn't, like, run away or something? That's right. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Hmm. Is that really what it is? She did volunteer. Maybe she volunteered just so she could, you know... You, I see, I see. This Duralumin case, which Pekko left behind... It should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya collected. Well, she doesn't need to guard it now. What's the okay. point? Oh, but does Byakuya still have the key? 
No, the key's in the other case. She's got... The, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other no, case is open, though. The key to this case is in the other case. I understand that the other case is open. We can go and get the key and come in and open ah, it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. I'm not going through this again. <laughs> Biakia had the key to this particular Duralumen case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry or go back and get it. Or wonder why you have it. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't carry this key, we can't check inside this case, right? That makes a distressing amount of logic. <laughs> so I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. Why do you feel too much remorse? That's a good question. See? See, it's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. Can we just give Kazuichi back his wrench? <laughs> right? But it's not possible that the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. Yeah. By the way, I was yelling that this was a terrible idea the entire time. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter, did it? It didn't make a difference, did it? All You're that, right. All the stuff that Byakuya took, it didn't make a difference. Just like I said, it, this is never a good idea. Because <sighs> you, can't, you can't eliminate danger like this. Yeah. I guess you're right about that. All Time right. for the star of the show. That must be this old building, Circuit Breaker. I'm the Circuit Breaker. I'm oh. happy that I'm finally the star of something. Oh, well, I thought, Mr. Circuit Breaker. I thought I'd be locked inside this old building forever. <laughs> the blackout probably happened because of this. Forgotten by all. <laughs> I see. Uh, other than the fact that it's talking for some really stupid reason, it doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. Guess that settles it. I bet it was Pecco. <laughs> the circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a stepladder, you won't reach it. Well, Pecco could have mm. stood on the... Oh, wait, you or, guys have talked about or that. Or used her sword. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. No, I'm saying use both. I've always yeah. said use both, which is why only Pecco could have hit it. But, I right. mean, you're, you're right, what you said about the electronics. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with the stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that See, circuit See, it's breaker. like you have to get on the stepladder and... Then use a... Yeah. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout. But who? Pecco. Yeah. Ta-da! I did it! Or not. Whoa! <laughs> ah, it's here! You look at that face and you just think of a killer. <laughs> I, uh, you idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout. So I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. Well, it looks like Chiaki and Monomi weren't able to send you away. By the way... I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? I stood on several of my boonshin shoulders. <laughs> well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night. I mean, this is a robot bear suit, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. That does not address the issue that I'm trying to bring up. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker, I fired a rocket punch. My body stretches. Oh, God. You know, I'm very elastic. Really? I won't be fooled. Liar? It's I'm serious. Want to see? Kind of go, 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 go. Wanna see a version of Motokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. It'll haunt my freaking nightmares. You wanna look at it, don't you? You wanna see? Now I, I wanna do it. I, I really don't, no. <laughs> no, no, no thanks. Just imagining it makes me wanna puke. Same. Oh, really? Such a shame. Cool. Still, don't you think Monokuma is such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place and probably has. <laughs> I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker. Well, in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it or set it to be tripped. Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Yep. 
Okay, it looks like you pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey. So, how about we check out Byakia's cottage? That makes sense. Byakia's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it'd be good to check it out just in case. It's not gonna hurt. Yeah. But... I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself, so I figured I should drag along a patsy. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Muhahahaha. Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I, I can't even imagine it. Gee, thanks. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Huh. I... Uh... I understand what he is attempting to say, but I don't think that's right. He, he's advocating that same type of naivete that I've been yelling about for a couple episodes now. Yeah. And I... I know. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Eh? What does that mean? All right. All right, then let's get going. To Byakia's cottage. Y yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there is a strange scene unfolding before me. So I guess... Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. He's having Chiaki crawl under to find his earring. We need to look um, under here. We're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Uh, <laughs> dude, come, come on. Also... I mean, I guess it's not possible for Nagito to have done it. Well, he does know the lay of the place and could have he set was... everything up. Sure, but he was in the room when it happened. That would give him the... Oh, You see, yeah. if, we, if we are assuming... So if the killer is under the floorboard... If the killer is under the floorboard and there's enough reason that we need to look around in there, mm -hmm. then it couldn't have been anybody in the room. You're right, which means it was either Peko or Fuyuhiko. Because I doubt Or Teru Teru. Or Teru Teru. Right, right. Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? I, I knew it was about the earring. Why don't you just. Oh, oh, that's right. They can't break things. Right. If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. I agree. Jackie's he's thinking in the right way. Yeah, but Gundam's but... just like, I want my earring. Well, you know. I have a really hard time criticizing Gundam. You know, this could just be his way of uh, supporting that without seeming to support that. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not like even prepared to go that Gundam far, but, but it's like, kind of. It was important to check it. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. Well, what do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? Hmm. And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? That's what we think. But if we yeah. can look down there, then we'll know for sure. Or yeah. at least we'll know whether to continue suspecting it. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Mm. Well? Uh, I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... And again, you can't break anything. Right. I mean, he might give special permission, but it's not necessary because you yeah. can get there from in the building. Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either, and please don't look in the storage room. <laughs> Man, how messed up would it be if Nagito is the killer? Well, as I've said every time this has come up over the past several episodes, 
it would be suspicious that the veteran characters go out in the first chapter uh -huh. it, to the point where it's like, how can anybody believe that the veteran characters went out in the first chapter? Yeah. It, it, you know, it just would feed into the none of this is real, you're freaking kidding me. Something is a lie either in this game or the last one. Right. Motif. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Like, I think it would make wow. Byakuya more likely to actually be dead. I mean, the real Byakuya, if that is this person, right, right. it may be. Okay, I think it would make him more likely to be dead if Nagito is not the killer. Yeah, yeah. But if he is, then I wouldn't believe it. For a second. <laughs> no, that's not possible. Don't look in the storage room. Are, are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building, thank God. Relief? Why? Uh, because... If you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. Y yeah. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. And remember, Nagito is trying to prove that nobody did it, which is a, an awfully convenient perspective to have. <laughs> I don't want it to be him, but... Yeah. I mean, I mean... Oh, right. Fuyuhiko. So... I suspected him, too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well? I, I like how Chiaki is apparently the Kyoko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey. What are you doing here? All alone in a place like this. Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. <laughs> you want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Again, she's just observant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk, and it's a damn coincidence that I happen to be walking around the party. What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he <laughs> can't be honest about it and doesn't really know how. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hmm. What the heck? She's just ridiculously observant. <laughs> That's great! Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Oh, Chiaki, you sweet summer child. We have played many an RPG. <laughs> huh? When did we start talking about video... It's Chiaki. Of course we're talking about video of games. Of course we're talking about video games. Yes, yes, yes. You can apply many life lessons from video games to, well, life. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. It's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Mm. <laughs> well, I guess for now, we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhoundia ring with my own two hands. I mean... Those, those holes look big enough. You could probably send the dark di divas of destruction in to go fetch it. Yeah, but can you train a hamster to pick up a potato? He's the ultimate earring? breeder. Okay, well, did he train one of the hamsters? Now, that is the question. It seems he has no intention of investigating. Um. Hmm. I guess for now, I've discovered the building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. I think... Also, yep. Fuyuhiko came by not long after the party started. I also discovered that my role in this game is kind of different than what I was expecting it to be. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm just hanging out here by coincidence. 
I'm not here for some reason. What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently, Byaki is the one who got killed. So what? Ah, I saw that look. You can't hide it from me. He did. Well, what did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Well, whatever. Just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. He needs to provide an alibi, and this is going to have to get kind of beat into him if necessary. Huh? <laughs> Checking my alibi, huh? Yeah, like those commentators said. Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! <laughs> Nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true, I went for a little walk. <laughs> and then, just by chance, I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the No! Party. He's telling you there's actually a typo in actually! Actually. Oh, I guess you're right. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I do that? It's a coincidence! A coincidence! All right. I got it. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay. That's... It's just a coincidence that I'm standing so close. All right. Now then. You've got to head over to Byakuya's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. You can't figure it out, right? Nope, we're leaving. Yeah, we should. Good, it let me. I was really concerned it wouldn't. According to the map, Hyoko and Akane are out somewhere. Wonder what she's doing here. I don't care what she's doing here. There's no little animals for her to punish here. Mr. Ham Ham. Be honest, I feel sorry about the loss of Mr. Ham Ham. Hyoko? If that's true, then she should stop calling him that. What are you doing here anyway? Did you find any clues for the case? Um... Nope, nothing. I'm here because I have important business to do. Important business. Hmm? You want to know? Uh, Not no, really. no, no, no! Mm -mm. I ran out of snacks, so I came here to get some. Huh? Snacks? Yay! Yep, this one. My favorite gummies. There's a lot of gummies here. I used to really like gummies. Snacks. Not the case, huh? Hey, hey! Uh, but it's not just gummies, you know. Cookies, chocolates, candies, everything I like is here. You basically are sugar, aren't you? Jeez! What I really want to eat are Japanese sweets, but they're not here. It's such a lousy selection. Well, at least the first thing that she said was that she's really sad that Byakuya got killed. That's true, and she is acting pretty tame right now. Yeah, and we knew about this from the event anyway. Yeah. Ah, I figured she'd like Japanese. Because she's told you! That seems like what the ultimate traditional dancer would like. But... It can't be helped, so I'll tolerate these goodies since I'm such a nice girl. She seems to know a lot about the supermarket. Ah, then... Perhaps... Those are probably night vision goggles. N night vision goggles. I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. Hyoko might know something about the night vision goggles and self-defense kits. Hey, there's something I want to ask you. Aww. What now? Understand? If you want to ask, why don't you show it with your attitude? That's easy for you to say. <laughs> You're totally panicking. You're funny, so I'll answer for you. Yeah, thanks. Then, did you notice anything missing here? Like something that's not food or items you'd use on a daily basis? Hmm? Missing? Hmm, probably a self-defense kit. There are clearly less here than there were before. Well, I mean, it's the one that Byakuya had. Right. Self-defense kit. That's probably what was in Byakuya's Duralumin case. Um... Looks like one pair of night vision goggles is missing, too. I think that's it. I see. Thanks! Just as I thought. The killer got night vision goggles from here and used them for their crime. Well, not necessarily. Thank you! Hey, Hajime! Oh, goody, now what? <laughs> hey! 
You owe me one, got it? You better pay me back double someday, okay? Well, that's really easy. Just go pick up a couple packages of gummies. Yeah. And then just give them to her. Uh. <laughs> it's a promise. Uh. Surely, what? I'm in a terrible debt. Well, it wouldn't really matter. She's not going to treat you any better or worse, and it's also possible that she's... That she, that's that's her way of interacting with people. Yeah, yeah. Yo! Yo, how's your investigation going? What are you doing here in the beach? Well, I'm investigating everywhere. It's going pretty good, I guess. Uh, how about you? Leave it to me. I'm moving around so I can think better. Yeah, you obviously the type to do that. <laughs> if you, if I, the, if you go for a little swim, I'm sure you'll think of something. Don't you think so? Here, I'll ah. just throw you in the water ah, right ah, now. Oh, Come no. on, what ah. do you think? <laughs> No, wait! Before you think, don't you still need some kind of clue as the first step? Clue? For what? For, for, for thinking. What am I supposed to be thinking about? We're, we're, we're trying to solve a murder. Huh? You are? Oh, is that how it is? Well, don't sweat the complicated stuff. What do you want from me, anyway? I, I'm sure she doesn't plan on thinking or investigating. Let's just go. No cows were punched to death. There <laughs> is a cow... There are other cows. How many cows are here then? Do the cows replenish themselves every day? We don't need to ask why the kitchen's closed or gets restocked in the first game. Let's not ask how the cows come from. Okay, you say we don't need to, but I don't agree with this. <laughs> hmm? It, it's locked. Well, I can't say I'm that surprised, I guess. I guess we need to ask him for help. Hey, don't you think it's weird that I decided that I wanted to call Monokuma? <laughs> that, that is pretty strange. And so, Nagito took a deep breath. Hey! Hey! Monokuma! Did you call me? N Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you could do us a favor. Uh, there's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. Oh, God, no. I move so fast. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Blah, blah, bunshin no jutsu. <laughs> Zanzoku, etc., etc. I, my heart's not in it right now. What do you want from me? It's though it'd be boring to play alone. I mean, you always win if you play Wh by yourself. Why am I talking to you about this right now? Who cares? Let's talk about it some more. Monokuma, do you want to play soccer with all of us? I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Well. This is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is trouble. Well, if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. You know, Nagito, you seem to have a really good handle on how to manipulate Motokuma. Oh, is that so? Why do you ask? I don't know. It just seems like you've already... Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba -ba -ba I don't know what that means. See? I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content, though. If you had to get me involved to work with the investigation, there's probably nothing here. That does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time, but, I mean, he did open the door. I... I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. I wonder what they expect to find. Where do you get all the books? Uh, where, where does anyone get... I see you, you little son of a... And they're all the same, or maybe they're different every chapter. Yeah, yeah. It's still kind of sad, though. Yeah. Okay. Where does where, where did Gundam get all of his hamster tubes? Hamster tubes. This bed. Nothing about it really catches my eye. Grumble Grumble couldn't look at Gundam's hamster tubes. 
Looks like the room's interior design isn't that different from mine. Uh, well, all the bookshelves, but... There's not much to worry about here. However, this conspicuous... Conspicuous? Conspicuous envelope bears close and... Probably the most important thing here. There's an envelope on the table. Truly, I am the master of observation. Good job. Is it a letter someone sent to Byakuya? That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. It's almost like this whole thing is going to be kind of existential, and that's really why I needed you to see inside Byakuya's room. What? Na Nagito, if, if there was a sender address, then that would mean that we're getting post postal mail. Oh, I never thought of that! So it makes sense that there's no sender. Man, it's a good thing that you're here, Hajime. You've just Hajime. made everything here normal. Uh, why don't you check what's inside? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I should check what's inside. Let's see here. Uh huh? I see. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Ah. This is... Well, well, well. Is this a crime warning? No, if it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. R really? It seems like it's kind of warning him, doesn't it? It seems like it's trying to instigate something. I mean... And then he bought it, too. What the heck? Yeah. The, the person who sent it is the person who's most likely to actually be the killer. Right? Or there's somebody who... Or it's an instigator. Regardless... Who would send something like this? Nagito. It, there's no way it's not Nagito. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's the one who really wanted to come here and show Hajime. Let's round up everyone's handwriting and have them write their name. But that's why he did it in, like, block writing that yeah. nobody would ever use. Maybe. Hey, this is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. To keep everyone safe and in one location. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Byakuya, he gathered everyone in one area, just like Billy said, and was extremely <laughs> prone to burping, and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. Yeah. So, uh, again, isn't it Nagito? Really points to him, doesn't it? He did. He tried He's to the instigate. the only one who could have set up that knife in advance. He manipulated, well, even if Byakuya set the knife up in advance, like, just, like, and maybe, maybe the knife, okay, hold on, hold on, let me, let me see what oh, I was going to say. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. So Nagito sends this letter to Byakuya. Uh-huh. Then Byakuya, because he's, because what Nagito is trying to do is to manipulate Byakuya to gather everyone in one area. Oh! Because he knows that Byakuya is trying to prevent there from being any victims, so it's like he can try and, he's trying to get him to do something that he wants. Uh huh. He then Nagito then comes up with the idea of drawing lots to determine who's going to clean the old building, oh! and Nagito controls who it is that gets sent in there, i.e. himself, because he already made the lots. How conveniently! And, oh, look at that! He's the one who got it. He then sets up everything in the room the way or in the building the way it needs to be. Perhaps Byakuya was like blackout. My God! Whips out the, the night vision goggles. Now we had we had been assuming. We've been assuming that he was going for the knife himself based on kind of what he said in his position, like he was mm -hmm. down there reaching for something, because, I mean, the truth bullet's pointed at that anyway. Right, right. Okay, so so he sees, so he puts on the night vision goggles, sees the glow-in-the-dark tape, and is like, what the heck is that? So he goes for it because he sees the glow-in-the-dark, because after the blackout. Yeah, he's, yeah. Then he's like, what's this? He got there, and then however it was that, that the killing was going to happen, was like the whole point was to get him to go to that location. Yeah. And, okay, and yeah, so, that makes then, a lot of sense. And then Nagito is like, let's go. He's like, I'm good. I'm determined to show that nobody here is, that none of the students here are, is a killer. Yeah. And then he's like, hey, Hajime, we should go to Byakuya's cottage. The only thing he's looking for is this letter. He knows it's here and can get Monokuma to let him in because he sent the letter. It has yeah. to be all that, right? Yeah, that makes way too much sense. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. That 
I mean, that was a good idea. So he believed this crazy letter? But he couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? That's why I sent the letter, I mean. <laughs> he couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. And besides, none of us really ever communicate in these games. But that that's true. What, what do you mean? If everyone knew what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not... That would incite panic amongst everyone, wouldn't it? Something similar to it, yeah. This. Yeah. Everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other, and at that point, there'd be no turning back. Also remember what Monokuma said. It's not my fault. He said, blame the killer. Yeah. He's the person who plotted everything. Yeah. That's what started all of this. So, Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only way I could take advantage, only explanation I can think of. You know, Nagito, you're saying some pretty weird things. <sighs> it's just these slips of the tongue. I don't know. It's like Tourette's. Mm, mm, I understand. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No. This could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. So you brought me in here to show you your letter so you could dismiss it. Hmm? What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. I don't blame him. By, by dismissing it right here, it makes Hajime want to not dismiss it. But still, we've come all the way here, and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? Almost as if he knew him. Yeah. They plan to manipulate Byakuya and kill him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it! Who the hell would do that? Hey. Hajime, based on experience that I have, <laughs> blah, 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 uh, sorry, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You asked Mahiru for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. Great, since I was right in front of the table, there's no way you could ever suspect me. So I have to go make sure she can prove that. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Oh, of course. I'm in charge of the investigation. Sorry. Mm. No, that's all you. Wh what I... I need some time alone. I'd like some time to destroy Eva. Collect my thoughts. I see. Well, I understand. Hey. Also, if you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I've already heard her talk about farts. <laughs> oh, the autopsy! Yes, that. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. I'll see you later. Hmm. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left. I better hurry over to the old building. Well, hello, Monomi. <laughs> too cruel. This is just too cruel. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. I don't want to. I don't want to help you guys mistrust your friends. <laughs> what the hell? It's not like we're doing this because we want to! No, now's not the time to fight about stuff like this. More importantly, do you know why the old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Hmm? Huh? Uh, iron plates? I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside, since it's dangerous because of the renovation. 
I... Well, maybe you should have blocked the door then? <laughs> well, she did lock the door. It's true. I see, the renovation. So that's why you covered them up. <laughs> because it's dangerous to go inside. Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island. I really don't want to hear that from you, it's all. This isn't how it was supposed to be. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms grow out of her? She bleeds? Is there a person in that stuffed animal that's already died once? I don't want to think about that. But, but why did it get like this? It's cruel. Too cruel. <laughs> just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. Thank you, Hajime. We have to do this no matter what, damn it! Hey, look! Is that a shiny crustle? What? Where? Turnabout is fair play. <laughs>